Today I'm grooming two mixed breed dogs. They came here together. This one is obviously a pug mix. His tongue hangs out. I'm gonna guess it's because he has no teeth. That's usually the reason, but not always. He's just getting a bath, nail trimmed, and ears cleaned, and a handmade bandana. And he's here with his friend who is also getting a bath and nails trimmed, ears cleaned, and a handmade bandana. Pugs are heavy shedders. So anytime you wash them, scrub them down with something rubber. Here's a rubber scrubby I'm using. Rubber really helps to pull out that loose undercoat. I don't know why, but it does. You can also use a rubber glove. This one goes right over my hand and just Velcros on. His tail is wagging, so I'm going to assume he likes this one better. Okay, so let's get started with the cockapoo. She's got a lot of hair and her ears are matted, so all this hair is gonna to have to come off before she gets in the bathtub or it will not get clean or dry. Or I should say her skin won't get clean or dry. She hasn't been here in almost a year. Her mother's been cutting her hair at home. And these two dogs must run around a lot because their nails are never really that long. Her underarms are matted, so I'm going to go even shorter under the arms and use a tin blade and carefully, with little strokes, shave underneath her arms. This is a very common place to cut the skin. So I have to be careful. And her ears are matted. I'm going to shave the inside of her ears with a tin blade also. And she's also getting her face shaved today. She's getting everything shaved. The shorter you go, the longer it lasts. Okay, that's good enough for now. I just had to get most of the hair off before I put her in the bathtub. So, we're going on to the bath now. All the dogs I groom get shampoo and conditioner. I'm just rinsing her conditioner off. This little girl is super easy. I just need to check her nails, finish blow drying her, and clean her ears out. I'm wiping her ears out with ear cleaner and a cotton ball. I'm using the Furminator, it's a deshedding tool. 
and it pulls out all that undercoat. But you have to be careful because it's sharp and you can only do this for so long before it scrapes their skin. She ended up having three nails in total to cut. I knew they were gonna be worn down. Okay, so she's ready and I'm just wiping her down with some spray-on conditioner and getting a little bit of water and wiping her face off too, making sure her face is nice and clean. She's getting a slip over the collar handmade dog bandana with little red and pink hearts. All right, I gotta hook her up, finish blow drying her. As you can see, she has big swollen feet from allergies. I'm blowing her hair apart so you guys can see she's got big mats between her toes. So I'm going with my 30 blade, I'm shaving the pads of her feet and between all of her feet to get those mats out. When dogs have allergies, they chew on their feet, and you can tell the classic signs are dark colored paws. So when they chew and chew and they have all that hair, they end up with mats between their toes. I'm just finishing up shaving her body with a seven blade. I'm pulling her skin tight so the clippers don't catch her skin. I'm completely done with her body, working my way around to her head and face. I'm trimming her ears nice and short, carefully using my fingers as a guide so I don't cut her skin. I can feel right where her ear leather is. I'm spraying her down with conditioning spray. I'm wiping her down with a fragrance-free baby wipe. I did miss a spot, I can tell now that I wiped her down, I had to go back over her real quick with the seven blade. I'm using some water to wipe her face off, make sure her eyes are nice and clean.
I always let them smell their collar before I put the bandana on them. I don't know why, but they always want to sniff their collar first. This one has little daisies and orange checks. Oh no, I forgot one thing. This dog likes to scratch after her haircut and she needs to wear an e-collar in her cage. I almost forgot she will tear herself up and will make herself bloody back there. So until her mother gets here, this is what she's wearing. Bonus clip, pug mix is ready to go.